Hi, today we're going to make a dish that I learned from Chef Adam Liao. This is a Napa cabbage and pork milfoy. Um, it's layers of Napa cabbage and pork. Very simple dish to make. I've tried it, it's really good. So if you're in, you don't have a lot of ingredients at home, you could make this. So first we cut off the base of a Napa cabbage and then we take off leaf, we, we take out the layers of leaves uh, one by one, we separate the entire Napa cabbage. Once that's all done, we're going to set that aside and start the layering. We get a Napa cabbage, lay one slice of bacon, get another leaf, then continue to layer it on until we use up all of the leaves and the bacon. Uh, the ingredients are very simple, really. So once we're almost done with layering, use up all of the leaves and the bacon, we're going to have this big stack of Napa cabbage leaves and bacon on top of each other. Use up all of the leaves, nothing goes to waste. So once that's done, we compress it all together and we're going to slice the stack into three sections. You have to use a uh, really sharp knife because you have to cut through the bacon. So have to push down onto the stack because you don't want it to um, uh, open up or spread out. So here we go. This is going to be the first section slice. Oops. But that's okay. We'll just put that up to get, pull, put it all together later. So that's the first section. Now we're going to do the second section. So use a sharp knife because you have to cut through the bacon. So once we're slicing through, you'll have three sections of the Napa cabbage. So once you got all your three sections, we're going to put it in a heavy pot and put them Put all sections inside the pot. Be care it's hard to put it in the first time, but once 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 it's in there, you'll be able to stack it all. Wow, look at that. It looks like a sandwich, really. So put in the third section of the sliced Napa cabbage and bacon. You could use beef also, very, but very thin slice of beef. So we're going to get ready to season it. Not much to put, push it all together, but you know what, you have to use up all of the leaves that you have, the Napa cabbage, nothing goes to waste. I'm putting in some mirin, uh, non-alcoholic mirin, sweet seasoning. You could use sake, but I'm using this one because um, I like the taste of mirin. So just uh, maybe two, three tablespoons of it. If you don't have mirin, it's okay. Next, we're going to put some salt, just enough to season it. Not a lot, because the bacon's already salty. I have sea salt here, here. So a drizzle. And then once we're done with the salt, all we need to do is get some, crack some pepper over the milfoy, milfew. <laughs> so there you go, some cracked pepper. And then once that's done, we're going to get ready to put it onto the stove. Look how beautiful it looks. Really, really nice looking. But uh, we have some leaves right here, extra Napa cabbage leaves. Um, stack it all in there, nothing goes to waste. This is going to be a wonderful, delicious dinner for you. So let's get ready to put it on the stove. So when I I'm putting it on the stove. I've decided to add some chicken broth onto it. Not a lot. I'm using a chicken uh, chicken base here. Um, just a tablespoon um, with four tablespoons of water. You don't have to put the broth because the Napa cabbage is a lot of liquid um, and it's going to make its own juices. But I'm putting some uh, chicken broth so it may make it more tasty. So once that's done, we're going to put it on the stove and I'm going to cook it on medium to low heat, low medium heat for 40 minutes. And while that's cooking, we're going to prepare our sauce for it. 
There's ponzu. This is ponzu, Japanese lime and soy sauce. If you could find it in your market, it's readily available. That's um, good to use. But if you don't have, you can't find it. You could just use lemon juice. I have your bottled lemon juice. Uh, you could use fresh lemon juice or lime. And I have two types of soy sauce here. You could use either one. I have a dark soy sauce and a light soy sauce. Either soy sauce is okay. Uh, but for the vegetables, I like a lighter kind of soy sauce because they seem to complement each other. So we'll put put some soy sauce on a uh, bowl right here and then a little bit of lemon juice. And that's going to be basically our uh, sauce, our dipping sauce, or you could not necessarily to dip it, but you just uh, pour over the um, uh, the vegetables and the uh, uh, pork or bacon, okay? So 40 minutes, wow, look at that. Doesn't look very pretty, but it smells very good. It's really smelling good. So now I've transferred it to a uh, serving bowl, <laughs> a square, rectangular bowl. Um, I just, it smells so good. Now we have the dipping sauce here that we could put pour over, not pour over, but just a, a, a splash of it onto the uh, meal fuel, Mapa cabbage and pork meal fuel. So quite easy to make, not a lot of ingredients. All these ingredients are readily available to you. It smells really nice and delicious. So try it, enjoy.